Today, at the request of Banana Pie 573, I'm going to be making a simple chicken salad. Uh, Banana Pie requested no fruits or nuts in it, so I hope you're okay with celery and onions in it instead. Now, there's a few options you have in making a chicken salad. You can use canned chicken, you can use fresh chicken. Uh, in my case, I'm a vegetarian, so I'm going to be making two versions of the dish one with a uh, chicken substitute, and then one with canned chicken. Uh, Flavor-wise, though, the best tasting one is probably going to be like an organic or local chicken. Uh, bake it fresh yourself and then tear it up. Alright, make it with me. For this recipe, you need a tablespoon of finely diced onion. So really, you, you don't really need much at all. I'm just going to cut the end. Make sure you peel off the skin. Okay. I've noticed with onions, uh, the more you dice them, usually the less you can taste them. So if you're not a big fan of onions, uh, don't use them, or use less, or dice them super thin. We also need a fourth a cup of chopped celery. Uh, in my case, I'm doing double the recipe, so I need half a cup. So just kind of cut it like this, go along the length. Uh, the thickness or thinness can vary depending on how much of a crunch you want. Okay, there we go. That would be my half cup, or if you're just making the regular amount, it's a fourth a cup. Uh, if you want, you can go back through, and if you had some thicker ones, you can always cut them in half, or, you know, just whatever to make them tinier if needed. Now, the really, the only step of this whole recipe, besides preparing the food, is just mixing it all together. Uh, this was my chicken. It's four and a half ounces is what you need, either canned chicken like this is, or uh, regular chicken you've cooked yourself, or you know some sort of vegetarian substitute. So here's four and a half ounces. Now as much as you can. Then you need a tablespoon of your onion, your diced onion. There you go. Then you need a fourth a cup of your celery. And this is this recipe doesn't output very much. Uh, that's why I'm doubling it in my case. Uh, this probably only makes enough for one sandwich for one person. Maybe two. Then you need three tablespoons of mayonnaise. And it said some pepper. Just pepper to taste. Then you just mix them all together. Yeah, this really does make a really tiny amount. This is enough for one sandwich. So if you're cooking for a lot of people, you're definitely going to want to make a few times this amount. Very basic, if you've had chicken salad before, this is going to taste very familiar to you. Alright, I just plated myself a chicken salad sandwich. Um, in my case, uh, I used a vegetarian substitute just because I'm vegetarian. Uh, if you're like banana pie and you don't like nuts or fruits, don't, you know, don't put nuts or fruit in it. 
you know, if you really love raisins, put raisins in it. It's your recipe, it's your chicken salad, do what you want. So let's see how it turned out. Hmm. It's good. Like I said earlier, it's your traditional chicken salad. You know, if you've been at a family get-together or a picnic or something, it's just mayonnaise, you know, maybe a couple additives, some pepper, or salt or something. So, you want to whip up a quick chicken salad sandwich in 10-20 minutes? Here's your recipe.